Hey everyone, Ruccioli here. Today we won't be talking about guitars or music or anything, but we'll be talking about tattoos and my tattoos in particular, which is a super narcissistic thing. I do realize that, but I get the question quite often, what kind of tattoos I have, uh, what they mean, why I chose them, etc., etc. Well, it's 29 degrees Celsius here, which roughly translates to uh, 666 degrees Fahrenheit or something. So that's why I look like a, a trailer park boy or whatever. But you know, it's a good opportunity to talk about the ink. I got my very first tattoo in 2006. It's this black and white phoenix, which is on the inner side of my bicep to the lower arm. And uh, I thought it was a cool place to have a tattoo since I play guitar, you know, I keep my hands like this and really shows. I chose black and white because back then I wasn't that much into all the colored stuff. Well, that has changed apparently. Why the phoenix? I think that the idea, the philosophy, the the story, whatever, about the phoenix, really interesting. You know, it's a bird who sets himself on fire uh, and gets reborn out of its ashes. And so it, it symbolizes a new beginning or a new start or whatever. I always liked that, that idea. You might know what they say, once you start with tattoos, there's no stopping anymore. Well, in a way that's true, although for me, it took about five years before I started thinking of getting a new tattoo, but I started playing with the idea to have a full sleeve. I don't remember exactly why, but I do remember when and where I started thinking of getting a full sleeve tattoo. And that was when we were playing with Made in United in uh, the UK and I was in the back seat of a car uh, next to Joey, who has a lot of tattoos, and he had this stack of uh, tattoo magazines with him. So I started flipping through them and, and we started talking and he asked me, hey, what if you would get a tattoo, what would it be? And, you know, most of you know that I'm a huge Star Wars fan. So that was the first thing that came to mind. In the summer of 2011, I got this um, Royal Imperial Guard on my uh, upper arm. Why the Royal Imperial Guard? Since he's not that well known, it's not a Darth Vader or a Boba Fett. When Return of the Jedi came out in 1983, I was seven, so I was pretty conscious about the whole Star Wars hype thing, and uh, as opposed to A New Hope, which came out in 77 when I was one, or even The Empire Strikes Back, uh, which was released in 1980. So I, I wasn't that aware of it back then, but when I was seven and Return of the Jedi was about to come out, this was one of the very first characters that I saw of the new movie. I saw it in a store, I saw it as an action figure, and this one, to be precise. I really like this, this, in the movie is also very silent, but apparently if you read the backstories, it's one of the highest trained soldiers or whatever you would call it. Yeah, they are the emperor's guards and they are highly trained and highly skilled. And I liked the, I really liked the design of, of, of the helmet and stuff. And, you know, like I said, it was the very first action figure that I saw in the, in the stores. And, of course, I have it mint on card. I also have the helmet and yes, I'm a proper nerd. Another character that could not be omitted from my sleeve tattoo is Eddie, of course. Eddie, the mascot of Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden, the one and only reason why I started playing guitar in the first place. I love that character, especially since when I was about 11, 12. 12, must be 12, because I, I, I had just gone to high school and I saw all the bigger kids with their denim jackets and the, the patches and, you know, the Eddie character. I, I had never heard one song, but I was totally intrigued by, you know, the Iron Maiden brand or whatever. Now, fast forward, I started listening to them and the very first album that I bought, even on tape, is, is this one, uh, Peace of Mind from uh, 83. I still have it. It's, it probably sounds like shit now because it's, I've played it so much. Um, anyways. Oh. When I was growing up, there was a bookstore on the corner of the street of my parents' house. And I remember that every Saturday my dad gave me one guilder, which is about uh, 50 euro cents nowadays. 
and uh, I could buy myself a comic book. I was about four or five, um, you know, at that time. And I loved reading Superman, Spider-Man, you name it, but Batman was always my favorite. Even though that I only selected those comic books that I bought judging by the cover because I didn't buy them numbered or anything. I just, oh yeah, this, this cover looks great. So the stories didn't make any sense to me at all, but I really liked looking at the pictures. That's why I have this Batman tattoo here and it's sitting on this rocky gargoyle or something in Gotham. Um, and to me, Batman has always been very fascinating because he's pretty much the only uh, superhero without any superpowers, apart from being a multi-billionaire or whatever, so that he can buy himself lots of gadgets. But that's what I, I, I always liked about Batman. So this, this tattoo isn't even that much a tribute to Batman, but more of a, of a memory of the time that I went to that bookstore on the corner of the street on every Saturday morning, running with my with my coin, with my gilder, yeah, you can buy another comic book. So that, uh, yeah, good memories. I have been walking around for a very long time before I released my solo album in 2011. It's the first For All We Know album. If you don't know For All We Know, go check it out. It's uh, pretty heavy, but very melodic and atmospheric. You know, you might like it. I financed that album myself, and which was a lot of money, but fortunately I, uh, I recouped everything and made a tiny, tiny bit of money, maybe enough to buy a comic book, yay. After I knew that that album had only cost me time and calories, I decided to get the main character as a tattoo here on my, uh, on my lower arm. I, I also like the design, it's designed by uh, Anna Coyal from uh, Colombia. She did a great job. And I think it translates really well into uh, into a tattoo. So I'm uh, I'm really happy with this one. This is actually my mom's favorite tattoo that I have. I also wanted to have a reference to my profession, which is playing guitar or music in general. But I didn't want to have a, a, a guitar literally put on my skin, which could look pretty cool. I know some people who have guitar tattoos, but I wanted to have it a little bit more hidden. And that's why I decided to have the Porridge Smith bird inlays, the position markers, uh, incorporated into my tattoo. What's really cool is that the tattoo artist Robert Albers from Clean Solid Tattoo, uh, he decided to leave the inside of the bird's um, skin tone since I'm pretty pale myself. There's quite a huge contrast between the black and the yeah and the white, which is actually just skin. And of course, I uh, I was pretty happy about that because that saved me from some pain again. The last thing that I had done is this imperial logo above the royal guard. You know, he interpreted it pretty freely, which I kind of liked. Uh, you know, with the, with the stripes and the colors and even this shape is not in the original, but yeah, I really, I really liked it. It, it, it completes the tattoo on my shoulder part, I think. So that concludes the story about my tattoos. Pretty plain and simple, actually. It's not that philosophical or whatever. I think I'm done with it because I noticed that with every session, by the way, this took about two years to complete, with each and every time it hurt more and it was uncomfortable and it was shitty and I really hated it. And one of the things that I also have promised myself, if I'm ever gonna get a new tattoo, I will never ever have it in the summertime ever again because it's so uncomfortable with the heat and the sweat and the, you know, you have to shield it from the sun at the, uh, in the beginning. Very uncomfortable. Maybe you have noticed that I shave my arm. I normally don't do that, but what I've noticed is that if I shave my arm and I put some body lotion on it, I know it sounds a bit eh. The colors jump out much more. And that is something that I usually do when I'm on tour or when I have gigs. You know, it, it really stands out when you're on stage and it, I think it looks great. I'm gonna show you the difference right now.
that you enjoyed this short video on my tattoos. If you did, please subscribe. And uh, there's much more stuff to come like guitar lessons, vloggy kind of, I hate that term, but these kind of things, some demos, some um, tour reports later on when I start touring with, with Intentation again. So I um, hope to see you next time. See you later. Take care. Enjoy the sun if there's any in your country right now. And see you later. Bye-bye.